everybody. Uh, welcome back. This is another walk playthrough for me. Uh, my Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Slytherin's Journey, Dark Wizard um, Path. And this is part 7. I had a little trouble with my um, load-in load -in part, so I'm actually going to be doing this again. But I'm going to go through this process um, as and try to inform you as much as I can. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of as course! I said before, uh, the what sort of room. overall look most appeals to you? Uh, I'm never, never mind. I'm like, I'm like, actually, I'm perhaps another time. Other than that, right now I like it with its dark look. But what I did with the knapsack that we learned from we saw, let's get straight to that and see what we can be able to do with it. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing! Let's see what Deke's gonna take us. Um, so, I'm gonna go through this process right now, and let's look at Alzar, this knapsack That was I... a dark time in Deke's life. Deke found himself in service of the cruelest wizard he ever met. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Ugh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Puffskins. All right, looks like we're gonna be capturing them. And you can end the quest there. Want to make point out the female gender. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puffskins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puffskin, and in it'll go. All right. All right, let's do it. I got the knapsack item now. So, first things first, let's switch it over to the knapsack. The knapsack. <laughs> I like how that, the, the clever it is to that one. So, let's choose it. And there it is in our slot. Let's go back out and let's grab ourselves a puff skin. Alright. Let's go, sir. See if we can lift it up and see if we can make it easier. One, there you go. And let's see. All right, I have a. Let's see, I can see it in my inventory, and there's a special item. So I have a female. So let's grab a male this time. Oh, there he is. Thank you. Rebellion. This is what Rebellion is so cool. It allows you to be able to locate them in higher distances. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, not Dobby. <laughs> oh my god, uh, let's go to Deke. I managed to rescue a puffskin. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskins and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Uh, Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, okay. not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskin. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobanol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there. 
whenever you're ready. All right, dude. all right. Yeah. Well, mind you, they may be poachers, but that doesn't mean that we can't be able to uh, profit from them. We'll free them, but you know, for a profit. Like, uh, we're not gonna be doing this for free. Come on. Um, this is a, this is a dark this is a dark wizard path. I'm looking to gain power. And I'm looking to be able to gain money and influence. So let's get going. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The Jobanals are just here, in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Is that right? Then I shall go and rescue a Jobanal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Different locations, so those little paw prints that we see, those are all the beasts. Okay. And he did mention that there were, um, I guess if I had um, walked naturally up here, maybe I would have ran into the poachers. I wonder, let me check to see. Rebellion! Oh, okay. <laughs> That's where they would have been, okay. Oh, I should have enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> Let's mess with them a little bit. I'm betting on the dragon. I'm not bad yet. Levi Ozo, two, three, go! Quick, they go! Ah! Seven! Levi Ozo! Ricky little cape flapper! Let's bring go! Do it! An Aristotle song. Oh, okay. They want to play. All right, let's play. Let's play a little bit. Protect back for more. Let me go. Not the brightest child. <laughs> Fly all the way here rather than walking. Anyway, back to what I was doing. I was getting jumper knots. Hope I'm saying it right. Rebellion. Let me go. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Rescuing bees, very nice. Everything's all right now. All right. We've acquired enough of them. Let's get back to deep. They had like I had to do it twice, so I guess the more I have to do it, the more difficult. I rescued a jobinal. 
Deke hopes your job and all finds the knapsack nice and cosy. Poachers want them for their feathers and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of, a herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. Let's see what happens when we walk up there. Let's see if we run into any um the um poachers. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. I guess not. Not this time. I'm just following along everyone. I already know how this turns out. And of course now, new spawn moving capped in. Alright, looks like we're gonna be getting those moon caps this time. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. And this is when it gets a trick where I have to be able to change the, um, the actual, like, um, time and everything. Yes. And here I can, and that's why the moon cap is and it is now nighttime. Alright. And let's just check real quick. It seems that, um, I think See some of oh, wait, that's check out the um, no, it's going to be a I know I did something. Oh, all right, so this is what's left for the um, oh, yeah, it's okay from the brew, but I think I'm gonna be able to handle those in a minute. I'm on a knapsack trial right now, so I believe I got something for... So I know the removal part pops up. Ah, rescue beast, there it is. And I get a bigly white hive, and the next time will be a magical child. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Alright, uh, let's see. Right. Um... And there's the moon caps. Levioso! Let's get one. Settle yourself. Does that mean you know home? That one and then uh I'll look after you. Rebellion. Levioso. I'm only trying to... Alright, so it'll be a little bit difficult. Let me go, sir! Let's get a little bit closer and... There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Revelio! Let me go. Professor Howard will never believe this. Let's 
That spell. I fly and kill him. Rebellion. Oh, there it is. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, that's a civil. Oh, no, there it is. Let's go and get you right now. Let me go. Face on it, so it's just a facial expression. Everything's alright now. Alright, let's go now and um, bring these over to um, Deke. Alright, Deke. What next? It was a bit trickier mm -hmm. than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. Let's head back as well, too. But no, I don't mind. And we have... This should be when we actually get to see where their own habitats will be. Yeah, looks like it's taking control. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! Mm. You've done it! A nice vivarium. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. I'm ready. I believe you are ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charm. It allows you to freeze objects or people in midair. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Look at this Vivarium. Oh, it's nice. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. 
Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Stop doing that. Sorry. My bad. I got many friends. Oh, well, as we look more into this vivarium, there's more to explore and see around here. I'm curious about what's up there. Under this rock crevice. Oh, and it seems that one of the collectibles is here. One of the, um, collectibles. I can get some flooring here now. Uh, let's go talk to Deke. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom. Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Magical trait to be able to use. So let's. I know I've seen the one already before, so I know where exactly to put it. or go meet battles or just looking around. And of course, um, as I get materials from different animals, I get stronger. So, as you can see here, this is one of my strong earth ensembles, of course, and it's superb. So if I were to be able to, what I'm currently wearing is this, so if I go to upgrade, I can be able to increase the offensive for it with this. Very nice. And then, of course, if I wanted to be able to add like a trait to it, like say, for example, let's say scorching to it, Came out nicely. I should show Deke. And, and now I have my scorching abilities are stronger now. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? 
You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank Deke. you for your help, Deke. And eight out of eight kills complete. Very nice. That's completed eight out of eight requests of the game now. So this should be able to give me like a whole nother. Ooh, and I just got this now. A mask I can be able to wear. Nice. Legendary ar ar armored attire. Hmm. Very nice. Alright. So now, so now that I have the Vivarium now, um, I could be able to have this beast. I could capture more, but one of the best things which I'm going to go show everyone right now is the money that you can make with these beasts. So, so let's take a look. Oh, I think I have, no, I have this. This is the next one now, so that'll be the stone necklace. Doesn't seem to be uh, like anything particular, but ancient. Oh, that's just that. Oh. But it's breeding and selling the animals where you're going to be able to make the most money from. So, before I go on to the next quest, which will be. Well, of course, there's all these, um. Yeah. The Sendo. Uh, the Findo, which is like a blade, um, bladed weapon. We can be able to send out forcing, so it's like the force spell which rams him onto the floor. Uh, this one right here is the, um, is a Rustom Man that, like, actually freezing something in this place, not freezing them, but they just stay in place still, and plus the Gross. Uh, Wingardium Leviosa as well, too. A bunch of them, but let's go straight to, uh... Let's go straight to... The... Map. Then let's go straight to the uh, pods mean and I'm gonna show you how I uh, make that money from these uh, animals, the ones I didn't put in the vibrary. I wanna rescue them and then you put them on, but it doesn't say you can't make a profit for doing also good deeds as well too, right? So, as you know, this store clerk sends them to good homes, so it's not like as if like we're selling them to another um, wild individual, from what Deke has told us in the game. So I'll go over to her right now. And that's how it's in. Tries to find good homes for the stranded beasts. Also the vendor that will purchase the beasts you've collected in your inventory. There you go. Hello. Mind you, don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dory Call Feather, it doesn't half hurt. Mm -hmm. And there's a Niffler, which I have uh, I can now have to my collection. And hmm. Okay. Something more from the Hello. Oh, oh. Welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricals. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting story to know. Thank you for sharing. It's not my idea of a choice of merchandise. Seems like a poor choice of inventory. Surely that's obvious. You don't mind sharing your opinions, do you? Despite the fact that we are a wizarding village, doesn't mean these things appear by magic. Takes a lot to round up these feathers. Don't get me started on thwoppers. Most of the suppliers of thwopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Perhaps it was your dealings with thwoppers that led you to the precarious idea of stocking diracles. Oh. 
you are well and cheeky, aren't you? Don't worry, I don't mind. Never had a still tongue in my head either. And I'll have you know that it's my eyes priority to ensure that all beasts are safe and well cared for. Right thing to do and good for business. Anyway, nice? perhaps you should have a look around. Okay. Stocks change all the time and not just because they disappear. <laughs> Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> okay. Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Let's see. I'll see. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? So, these are the type of things I can get. I'll have some togwarts, toad, unicorn hair, threstles, puff skins. There's also um, jabernal, there's also sneasel fur, there's also blue cat, there's also niffler's fur, hippogriff feather, which right there, it's like, as you can see how high the price is for them. They're actually one of the one, the more expensive one. And also grapple corn, there's also um clooper feather, and then after that there's also a deer call feather. So deer call feather, deer call flooper, uh <laughs> grapple horn, and also um hippogriff are the most expensive beasts that here. So that's why people want to be able to um get, capture them for money. Now, since these are all the ones I'm not gonna use, so as you can see for puff skin, but I wanted to be able to show real quickly. As you can see from the um, puff skin right here, you get 150 for the puff skin's fur. But it's funny that for the puff skin itself, it's 120. I find that interesting. For the actual puff skin, it's 120. But okay. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. Let's get this going. Quite a lot can you have. Huh? Let me get over 3,500. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Oh, there you go. Now, what's the name of Kagawa? They did say that she had um, a rest of momentum. So let's see that one. It seems that um, for her mission, check out that mission real quick. Let's uh, let's ah here we go. Her lesson two, arrest of momentum. She taught us glaciers. We had, and then our next one's gonna be arrest of momentum. So now it's not an ice. Uh, we should just freeze someone in place while they I guess they're in mid air. So from what I'm from the Harry Potter series that I remember recall. So it's like I'm gonna be popping more balloons to be able to acquire it. So I gotta go somewhere specific. Actually, you know what? Let's leave that alone. Let's go straight to the uh, Shadow Estate. And let's go meet up with uh, Sebastian. And I have a long I got a long flight ahead of me. So the closest um, spot that I have I can travel to is right here. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Alright. Let's get to flying. Good to see the sister that Sebastian's been talking about. Let's 
pop a few more of these balloons. Experiencing the um, further side of what else I can be able to go to see around here. It looks like we found a little town area where um, Omnis family lives. And I guess that's where we're supposed to wait. And... You made it. So I did. Enjoying the view. Keeping an eye on things. Feldcroft isn't what it used to be. No one has felt safe here since Ranrock's loyalists took a peculiar interest in that castle over there. Rookwood Castle. My uncle Solomon is a former Aura and refuses to look into it, even after Anne was cursed by one of them. Possibly with a wand, no less. I heard a goblin refer to wizard kind as wand carriers. A goblin's forbidden from carrying wands. Precisely. That's why I'm on the hunt for answers. If I'm to cure her, I need to understand what happened to her. Anne was always the most mischievous of the three of us. Which is saying something, knowing me and Ominous. I'm hoping a surprise visit from me and a new friend from Hogwarts will help lift her spirits. Bring back the Anne I used to know. Come on, I'll take you to my uncle's. This way. Let's see. Feldcroft used to be a lot livelier with Ranrock's lot wandering about all the time. Everyone stays out of sight. A new spot to be able to do an interview. Here we are. Smoke My on. sister should be just inside. Inside. And say hi. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Hey. Shrivel figs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never. I can never accept it. <laughs> now look what you've done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. If you don't mind, I just need a moment alone. Okay, Ominous. Poor Sebastian. Not the visit he'd hoped for. 
Let's talk to the young That boy will fray my last nerve. Mm. Excuse me, Mr. Sallow. Oh, yes, Sebastian's friend. I apologize on behalf of my nephew. He doesn't know when to stop. He thinks he can help Anne, oh, but nothing can be done for her. I understand you've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mungo's to no avail. We have. My nephew thinks he knows better than the healers. Perhaps the healers don't know everything, sir. Sebastian is single-mindedly focused on finding a way to help his sister. If there is a cure, he will find it. Your faith in Sebastian is misplaced. Some sort of dark magic cursed Anne, and the goblins aren't likely to explain themselves any time soon. Giving her hope is cruel. The only thing to do now is keep Anne comfortable and stay out of the Loyalist's way. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, sir. Good. Don't I know what's best for Anne and Sebastian. They are my stubborn brother's children. Especially Sebastian. Speaking if you really well. want to be of help, you'll make sure Sebastian does what he should do, not what he wants to do. He's no idea the harm he could do if he doesn't stop. I hope you remember what I've said. Good day. A lot of harm can be overcome. Sometimes the most uh, biggest good, good, good intentions could cause I'm sorry harm. about earlier. Those bouts of pain are difficult to bear. Yeah. Are you all right, Anne? I, I didn't mean to intrude. You didn't, truly. <laughs> and I'm all right. The pain from this curse comes in bouts, and often suddenly. It's not anyone's fault. It's nice to meet you, by the way. You must be the new fifth year Sebastian told me about. I am. Sebastian and I met on my first day at Hogwarts, in the Slytherin common room. Oh, the common room. Oh, I adore teasing first years about spotting mermaids through the window. I do miss Hogwarts, but I wouldn't mind being in Feldcroft, really, if it wasn't so dreary now. Between the goblins at the castle and my uncle fighting with Sebastian whenever he's home, it's not the cosy retreat it once was. Sebastian mentioned something about your uncle being an ex-Aura, but refusing to go after Ranrock's loyalists. I must say, I wasn't prepared for him to be as angry as he was. Uncle Solomon is frustrated by what happened to me, and by Sebastian for thinking he can fix it. They both mean well, I know they do, but my uncle is right. This curse cannot be undone. I can feel it. Sebastian cannot take away my pain. Perhaps you can help him to understand that. You made up his mind, but I can make an attempt, but I know it's not going to do anything. People, when it comes to this kind of situations, don't do what they need. What happened to you, you know what I mean? I'll do my enough. best. I can promise to speak with him about it. Thank you. His search for a cure is futile, I'm afraid. I'm getting tired. I should probably rest. Thank you for stopping by. I wish you well. I ought to see how Sebastian's faring. Let's see if there's anything here I can be able to get take. Let's see. Oh. Sebastian, how he feels right now. Why will he not listen to me? She's my sister. How are you doing, Sebastian? You got a first hand glance at what I'm dealing with. I apologize for my uncle. I'm trying to go for it. I know he's angry, but he's only trying to do what he thinks is best for Anne. He's always angry. He's been angry since my parents died. After Anne was hurt, he only grew worse. It's as though he blames me somehow, always calling me my father's son, as if that's an insult. I'm the one trying to help her. He's simply given up. Both Anne and your uncle seem genuinely convinced that nothing more can be done for her. 
I refuse to believe that. Anne's pain is more than physical. It has changed her entirely. I miss my sister. And I'm going to get her back. Come with me. I need to show you where it happened. Ranrock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. They should not be underestimated. Okay, looks like we're gonna be doing something with these guys. So let's um uh let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Love. And of course bring them over to us. Alright. All the debris you'll see is from whatever's going on at that abandoned estate. They've been digging for something. Is that right? Up there, on that plateau, is where they cursed Anne. This way. Alright, let's go further. How much longer are we expected to dig? Okay, it's um. And Rob knows what he's doing. It's an honor to be a part of it. The only good wizard is a dead wizard in my book. Ranrock's vision of goblins ruling over wizards will be fulfilled. Be, uh, You're like a clown bumble, buddy. Oh, Not him. Okay. Uh, 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 wow. Uh, 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 Akio. Uh, Let me uh, 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 Akio. Uh, It's more than I bargained for. I tried to warn you. Rebellion! Oh. 
You didn't, but you know what? This is what the situation is. <laughs> Those loyalists deserved what they got. Couldn't agree more. This is where it happened. We smelt smoke in the middle of the night. When we looked outside, flames were shooting from the estate. Before my uncle and I could stop her, Anne rushed out, racing towards the fire, worried someone would be hurt. She came face to face with a horde of goblins, frantically trying to stamp out the flames. Suddenly, an icy voice drifted out from somewhere in the smoke. Children should be seen and not heard. A blinding blast followed. They didn't even give her a chance to run. It seems an awfully violent response to a child wandering by. What were they trying to hide? My yeah. thoughts exactly. exactly. It may be grasping at billywigs, but I keep thinking that there might be something here that could lead me to whoever cursed Anne. Might be the only way to learn what type of magic harmed her, which could help me find a cure. Perhaps you're right. The loyalists are everywhere, but they do seem to be spending a lot of time here, and it's likely they're hiding something. And at Rookwood Castle. Shall we have a look around? They Stalk seem around. to have set up camp here for a specific reason. They have stations for everything. I've heard goblin dig sites like these are popping up everywhere. Hmm. It's a wonder the Ministry isn't doing more. Oh, uh, yeah, do you know what? This actually looks uh, familiar. Very familiar. I feel a vision, that vision with the best for the... Always armed the and ready for a fight, Ranrock's loyalists. Rebellion. <laughs> Whose home was this? Been abandoned long since I've lived here. Rumor was a Hogwarts professor lived here once, centuries ago. But that's all I ever heard. Now it might be worth taking a closer look at the house itself. I don't think they've ever mentioned doors <coughs> in actually in Hogwarts. I may be wrong, but um, they've mentioned elves <coughs> in a different elves, and they've mentioned goblins and they, and um, other magical beasts. But they haven't mentioned um, dwarves. I think this okay. well looks familiar. Rebellion. Well, Sebastian, over here. Do you think that this was damaged by the fire the night that Anne was cursed? Could be. But it looks to me as though this was intentional. Hmm. <gasps> Revelio. Gears are full. Oh, it's a map to be able to do what I need to do. Just sell them and make more money. Oh, well, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Sebastian, I've seen this before. This house, the well, the view. What do you mean? When? Give me a moment. I'll explain in a second. Sebastian, this house did belong to a Hogwarts professor, hundreds of years ago. Who? What do you- I found a pensive that day in the restricted section with a memory that showed this house. There was a little girl and a drought. The keepers have shown me other memories as well. The girl became a Hogwarts professor. Her name was Isadora Morganark. She was one of the keepers. The keepers? Like in Quidditch? And you found a pensive in the library. I'm not following you. I realize it's a lot to take in. I'm not even sure I understand it all yet. And no, not like Quidditch. 
They call themselves keepers because they're protecting some type of knowledge. It has to do with the vault at Gringotts. Let me see if I've got this straight. You have Ranrock and Rookwood after you because of something you found at Gringotts where you ended up via a port key. And now you've been witnessing memories left by keepers. Oh, and this house belonged to a Hogwarts professor who was one of these non-Quidditch keepers hundreds of years ago. If I didn't know you, I think you were pulling my leg. It is all a bit much, isn't it, when you put it like that? The point is, we both have good reason to search this house. You for answers about what happened to Anne, and me for answers about the keepers. Look at this. Someone piled this here for a reason. Is it blocking something? Only one way to find out. Yeah, there is only one. Oh, that's situation, yes. Good friend. Huh, a stairwell. Why bother blocking a stairwell? There might be something here worth a closer look. They've left all of this simply strewn. Lumos tells me they're after something bigger. Seems these journal entries are from Isadora's travels. A journal entry of Isadora's. I should hold on to this. Okay. Let's see. I need to get... Lumos. You're not going to believe this. I can see the Undercroft. What? A daydream? Because that happens to me too. I know it sounds strange. Honestly, but... nothing you say sounds strange to me anymore. Oh, really? Fair enough. Okay. I can see the Undercroft through this stone wall, as though it's a window. This has happened before. I'm listening. I have a rare ability to see whispers of ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. <laughs> I knew you weren't telling me everything. Ancient magic? What does that even mean? I'm not entirely sure, but the Keepers have said that it's a powerful magic that should only be wielded by a select few. And you can wield it? I don't know, but Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. What I do know is that my ability allows me to travel through these windows I see. Wait. We can get straight to the Undercroft from here. <laughs> Ominous will be flawed. We can. But perhaps best not to tell anyone else about this for now. Even Ominous. Understood. Well then, invisible secret ancient magic passageway, here we come. I'm tempted to hold my breath. Why would the door lead us here? Sebastian, look. Hmm. That's interesting that this pops up now. I wonder if the undercraft actually belonged to her, maybe, and she actually had that secret room. Why hide a triptych here? 
Seems as if something's missing. A note. Let's have a look. Anything helpful in the note? A rune symbol. I've seen similar symbols used by the keepers. I've been thinking. A keeper lived in that house centuries ago, and Ranrock and his lot have been searching there. You said that goblins may be wielding some form of this ancient magic. Do you think Anne was cursed by ancient magic? I can't be sure, of course, but I don't think so. I didn't see any traces of it around your sister. Hmm. Very well. But that doesn't mean it's not ancient magic. Mm. There's still so much we don't know about it. True. Perhaps this triptych will lead us to answers. Then we'll have to unravel what this all means. But now I need to see Ominous. Don't worry, I won't tell him anything. Did I mention that, apparently, Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts? You did not? Is it connected to our common room? No idea. Ominous just learned of it. I'll let you know what I find out. I have no idea our visit to Sian would unfold into all of this. My head's an utter mess. But I'm glad you told me everything you did. I'll be in touch. Till then. All right. I think that's where I'm going to everyone this is going to be ending my part 7 of my playthrough uh, <laughs> a dark wood is a celebrity a meet me near the ruins of Falbarton castle oh, she's after dark okay. do not yeah. tell anyone okay my sorry uh, Slytherin's journey uh, <laughs> as a dark word unleashing darkness in the dark in Hogwarts legacy I'll, let's stay right here. So I will see all of you in part eight of my journey through Hogwarts. So until next time, you all have a good day and I will see you all until next time.